This is a quick video on uh, creating kind of like an Easter egg in Packet Tracer. So if you do a little Packet Tracer assignment, what you can do is you can grab a web server, stick it up here, right? So I have a web server. Let's bring up a PC. Um, this is very simple, so all I'm going to do is use a crossover cable between the two. And the whole idea is that uh, I'm just going to demonstrate how you can upload a, a animated GIF or image to the server for the students. So we'll just uh, set up some simple IP addresses here. 192.168.0.101 um, Static IP address for the PC. Over here, desktop, same story. I will create uh, 192.168.0.254 That's our server. Now on the server, what we're going to do is go to services, go to the web services here, and uh, we're going to import a file. Now, I got a file here, it's called Hi5. Uh, this is interesting because you import it, it says the GIF already exists, you want to overwrite it, it doesn't exist. So you say yes anyhow, so here's our Hi5 GIF. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go to the index.html. So you need to know a little bit about HTML programming. Uh, and what I'll do is, just at the end of this, I will put a uh, break, which is just a line return. I'll put image source equals, and the image is hi5 gif, case sensitive, and close it. Right? And I'll save this. And it says there's a file with this name, yes, overwrite. Um, I will go back to my services here, make sure HTTP is on. I've got my HiFi GIF. It's been uploaded. And now I can go back to the PC and bring up the web browser on the PC. 192.168.0.254. That's the IP address of my server. I've connected. I'll just move this over. and. Um, this GIF is actually a little bit on the lar um, large size. Interesting is on my computer it's quite slow, but I've had students who've loaded it and it loads up quite quickly. So often what I'll do is I'll put on this page, it says, uh, wait for it, and the image should pop up here. Right? So this is kind of nice if they set up a network and you have to, uh, you're doing like a packet tracer activity. Um, what you can do is, Say, okay, at the end of the activity, you have to have your PC. It has to be able to uh, connect to the web browser using a web server using a web browser to this page, and then this will pop up, and it's kind of a nice little thing here. So, very simple, quick uh, uh, way to put an Easter egg in there. It kind of motivates the students when the students see that, oh my, you know, there's little animated lambs or something like this from Wallace and Gromit, and that it gives them a little bit more motivation. And that's it. Okay.